This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to take a look at 10 beginners problems they face while working on After Effects, and how to easily fix them. This is part 1, and part 2 is right on the way. So, let's get started. The first one is pre-composition is not opening by double clicking on it. I have this project, where we have many pre-compositions. When I am trying to open it, it doesn't open as it should. Instead, it is opening up this new panel. But some of the pre-compositions are not showing anything. This happens because you have selected a different tool, such as the pen tool. So, for fixing this problem, simply switch to the move tool. And now it will work fine. The second one is layers are not showing in the timeline. It happens when you are working on After Effects template. Sometime all the layers are not visible in the timeline. In this template, we have a silver text animation, by the way you can download this template from the link in the description. The design looks nice, but it is just showing three layers in the timeline. If I want to change anything, I don't know how to do it because I cannot see all the layers. This happens because of the author of this template has hide the layers by using the shy switch. If you click on it, you can actually see all the layers. People usually hides the layer just to organize the project. Because you don't want to see all the layers. By the way, in a After Effects template, most of the time you don't have to turn on the shy layers, because the author provides control layers for managing all the required changes, using just one layer. Such as color. As you can see, I can change the color of the reflection using this control layer. So, I don't have to find this reflection layer in the timeline. The third one is frame to seconds conversion in timeline. Now in this project, the duration of this project is showing in the frames instead of the seconds. And it's hard to calculate the time duration using the frames. Don't worry, it is much easier to fix. Simply press and hold the control, or command key on your keyboard, and click here to switch between seconds and frames. And now you can see it. The fourth one is duplicating a composition. Duplicating a composition in After Effects is not that easy. It can be a complicated process. But most of the time this step can work for you. I am keeping in mind that you are a beginner, so you may not be working on the complicated projects. Anyway, I have this lyrics template. Let's make a duplicate of this pre-composition, and change the text with a different one. Here you can see it has also affected my original layer, because the source of this pre-composition is the same as the original one. So it is not possible to make a duplicate using this method. OK. Let's use the other method. Right click on your pre-composition, go to reveal, and then choose reveal layer source in project. It will show this pre-composition in your project panel. Here select the pre-composition, and make a duplicate by using the control, or command plus D on your keyboard, and then place this pre-comp in your timeline. Now the starting position has been changed, so press the open square bracket key on your keyboard, and it will place the starting position of the pre-comp, at the playhead position. Let's align it, and now you can change the text of this layer. And it won't appear on the bottom one. But one thing you may notice. In the bottom layer, we have these markers, which are used to control the animation in and out. Also, there might be any effects applied on the pre-comp, which won't appear by using this method. So let's take a look at another method. I'm going to delete this layer, and then make a duplicate of this pre-comp, and place it wherever you want. 
Make sure to select your layer, and then, we already made a duplicate of this pre-comp. So, press and hold the Alt, or Option key on your keyboard, and drag this composition on this one. This way, all the effects will be applied on this layer. And it will work as independent pre-composition. If you have some doubts, you can let me know in the comments section, and I will make a separate video on this topic. The next one is layer controls are not showing. I have this template, which you can also download from the link in the description. Now, I am not able to see any layer controls in this project. I am not sure which layer I have selected, because it is not showing any outline around it. This happens because the layer controls are turned off. You can activate it by going to view, and then select the show layer controls. You can also choose the shortcut key, control, plus shift, plus H, or command, plus shift, plus H, and it will show the layer controls. The next one is the live preview not showing. In this After Effects project, when I'm playing the animation it is working fine. But as soon as I am trying to scrub through my playhead, the live preview is not showing anything. It is only showing when I stop scrubbing the playhead. This is happening because you have accidentally turned off a feature. So for fixing it, simply right click on your composition name, and then select this live update. It will fix this problem right away. The next one is the missing column. I have this audio spectrum project opened, you can download it from the link in the description. If I want to change the blend mode of any of these layers, I cannot do it because the switch tab is missing. So for showing it back, you can press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key is busy downloading the royalty free logo intro sounds from my website, then right click here, go to the columns, and choose any column you want, such as modes, and any other. It will use some space in your timeline. Now for hiding any of the specific columns, simply right click on it, and then choose to hide this. It will hide that specific column. The next one is missing panels and tabs. In this After Effects project, some of my panels are missing. Such as the preset panel, as well as the effect controls. It can happen by accident, or by switching to a different workspace. For bringing your panels back, simply go to the window, and then choose the missing panels, which you want to add. I'm going to choose the effects and the presets, as well as the effect controls. And now all my needful tabs are here. In case you don't want to follow this step, then you can simply go to the window, workspace, and choose a different workspace according to your requirement. You can choose the standard, and it will show the default tabs and panels of the After Effects. The next one is playing a specific section of the timeline. This might not be a problem, but techniques that beginners don't follow. I have this text animation template, where I have created the animation in, and animation out. If I want to work on this specific animation part, then I don't have to play the whole animation from the beginning. What I can do is actually mark the specific area, where I want to check the animation, and it will play that part only. For marking the play area, Make sure to go to the beginning of the animation, and then press B, to set the starting area. After that, go to the end of the animation, and then press N, for setting up the end. And now it will play only this part. This can be time-saving, because you don't have to watch all the animation from the beginning, for focusing on the end of the animation. Just one thing to remember, Make sure to change the work area to the previous one before rendering, else it will render this part only. And the last one for this video is crop composition. In this lyrics project, 
I want to crop my composition, so that it can show this text only. You don't have to go to the composition setting, and change the frame height and frame width. You can easily do it by clicking on this region of interest icon. And then draw a shape to cover your text. You can also adjust the crop area using these edges. Now go to the composition, and then select crop comp to the region of interest. And it will crop your composition. See, this is much easier than going to the composition setting. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download after effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, and web templates. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description.